What's up YouTube, busy your boy King Deniax, we're back with another Lightroom tutorial. This time I'm just gonna show you how to take your RAWs straight from camera into something like this. And then from here we're gonna take it to Photoshop and do the final skin retouching and also adjust things that are not necessary on the image. So without wasting any time, the first thing I do, this is the or is the the edited picture already and i can just scroll in and show you what i've done did a lot of adjustments all over here just hide this and also this is not necessary and also did some calibration of the camera down here so without wasting any time let's just restart everything here so we can create from scratch so this is the raw this is how the raw actually looked a bit overexposed i think it's a step yeah it's a stop overexposed let me do this yeah it's too much on the on the white and the highlights okay let me just turn it back to color at least something like this it will look better so the first thing i usually do when i'm editing a raw picture i i don't i don't edit jpeg pictures I deal with raw. So the first thing I do from here is go to blacks, decrease the blacks a bit just to minus 10 and then the whites around here and then from here increase the shadows to around uh, 50 and then the highlights also decrease the highlights for the whites here something to this amount uh, let me show you a trick usually when i'm editing this part uh, the tones I, I i usually switch to black and white because the color is distracting i usually edit using the histogram up here i want everything to be around the mid-tones these, these are the mid-tones these are the shadows and then these are the darks shadows as you can see it's written shadows and then these are the blacks exposure mid-tones highlights and then whites there's already white on this on, the, on this picture but it's not that overexposed if it was overexposed it was supposed to touch up here and also here between the highlights and the exposure the mid-tones this represents everything else that is around here so i'm just gonna edit using the histogram we, we want this to be somewhere here not too much here not too much here so i already decreased as you can see these are the whites you can just decrease them to something like this and then also the highlights something like this then we can also decrease the exposure a bit something like this and then from here increase the shadows yes the shadows not too much just plus 44 as you can see here and then the blacks there's nothing there's nothing on the blacks that i can increase that much and then from here i'll just play with the contrast a bit and then i can say i'm done but just to add blacks on the black on the blacks i can just increase the haze here uh, if my photoshop looks different from yours i'm using the 20 is it 2020 vision yeah i think it's photoshop 9 yeah i think it's photoshop version 9 uh, lightroom version 9 cc lightroom cc uh, that one has the texture uh, if you can't see texture and the haze you might be using lightroom 6 but yeah i'll advise you to upgrade and then from here just decrease the haze a bit to remove the highlights and the shadow look that you usually get on portraits and then the clarity a bit and now that i have texture here i can play around with texture but it's not necessary because we are using different types of lightroom but if you do have texture i usually bring this one to 20 something like this to make the skin soft as you can see 
something like this but this is not necessary then if you are done with all this you can just bring it back to color as you can see there's too much red here and you can just also decrease the saturation let's put it around 13 minus 13 and then increase the vibrant to plus 30 something like this i i prefer increasing the vibrance than the saturation because this one is more detailed it's more balanced and so on compared to saturation saturation is chaos just decrease saturation a bit Let's just put it to minus 20 and then we go up to temperature usually i don't do anything here because when i take a picture I already set everything my white balance correct but now i'm noticing a, a bit of yellow i don't want a mood like this i want something between the warm and cool let's just decrease this to at least 500 let's just type 500 yeah? 5000 5000 kelvin okay this looks good okay i like, I like the 5000 kelvin let's just increase the tint a bit plus 60 now you can see we're getting that a bit of orange and can just in decrease decrease increase or decrease the saturation a bit to minus 16 and then we jump the curves then we come down here from here this is where we play around with the colors you know this is where we play around with the colors so the first Thing I do is adjust the saturation and the hue and the luminance but I usually start with the hue when you start with the hue you can just come to the reds but usually the reds the reds and orange represents the skin tone so let's just shift the orange a bit look at Look, look what's happening to the skin tone whenever I'm doing this. It's turning red, it's turning yellow. I can just do this and just check where are the reds. There are a bit of reds here, but this one is not red. It's mostly magenta. Yeah, this is magenta. Let's just do this. This is magenta. And then this is red. This is red. I can just increase the red also to something like here. And then I can just bring back the the orange something here this is nice this is nice okay before and after and then from here I'll just add yellows to around 30 just in case there's yellow also on the skin tone then from here I can say let me shift to the saturation then from the saturation we're gonna increase the reds a bit and then decrease the yellows the blues also because the, the blues represents the whites here yeah? I want it to be pure white so I'm removing the blues here and also aqua from the blues because of this there's also aqua on the blues something like this then a bit of magenta decrease something like here and here and then from here we go to luminance luminance we're just gonna increase the orange which is the skin tone this is how you increase the skin tone color this is how you expose the skin tone color and then just gonna bring it to 28 27 28 it depends what kind of a picture you're dealing with this is a raw picture i'm just showing you how i would adjust mine you know then as you can see the skin tone is, is it's, it's it's a bit good it's not that bad then from here we just go to camera 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 calibration camera calibration let's just close this part camera calibration this part gets a bit tricky you know the first thing I do, I usually start with the blue primary. Just decrease the blue primary to something like this. 
I'm giving it a bit of till and orange look. So I'm just going to bring it down the hue to minus that one. And then I bring down or oh, I bring up the the red primary to plus 12, plus 12. This is plus 12, okay, plus 12. And then from here, I come here. I bring the hue to the green primary to minus uh, 16, okay? Before, after, okay? This is nice. And then from here, I'm just gonna play around the tint in my center and greens, you know, to balance everything here. Yeah? You might like it this side, you might like it this side, but I prefer it to be a bit this side. Let's just put it on minus 12. And then from here, we come back to curves. Curves is a bit tricky. Also, uh, you need to be sure what kind of a look you're going for. So the first thing I do, I usually put dots here. Let's just put dots here. And then put another dot here on the mid middle down here. And then I just adjust here a bit. Not too much, a bit. Because it's going to bring down the, the, the blacks. I don't want to affect everything. I just want to affect the blacks. As you can see, these are the blacks that are being affected. And also from here, not too much. Let's just bring it up a bit. Okay. Then from here, we come here and just bring down the white a bit. Not too much. Before, after. Before, 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 after. And I can see uh, there's a bit of color shift, especially here. It's hard to notice, but it's there. You know, especially with the magenta. This is the magenta. So I have to come back to the magenta. I have to zoom, come here. Magenta. Yeah, this is the magenta. And also the purple. And then come back here. Increase here. Okay, let me increase here. Okay, so let's put it right there. I can say I'm done. This is the done raw adjustment on Lightroom. And then from there, I can just send it to Photoshop. If you have Lightroom and Photoshop, this will be fun. You know, learning how to use both softwares for different adjustments of a portrait. So guys this is part one please subscribe to my channel i'll keep on posting more videos that are related to this king denny signing I'm out just standing right here. I've been looking at the mirror. I'm like,